Hi, Freedom Queen. I have a really fun story to share with you. So back in 2021, I decided to host a retreat. Well, I decided to try to host a retreat. This was in January of 2021. So prior to that, I was living in Costa Rica. And what I was doing in Costa Rica, this is in 2020, is I would go to these digital nomad entrepreneur spaces and host these embodiment workshops for entrepreneurs. And I would do, it was like a a combination of meditation, vision processing, and movement in the body. And I would host these workshops, and then at the end of them, I would say, if you would like to work with me privately, I'm doing some work up in the co-working space there. You can buy one-off sessions with me, and people would always buy them. And that's how I built up my private client work, was just through doing these workshops with people. And so I pitched myself to these different like they were hostels, if you're familiar with them, Selena. They were these really well-known hostels that were like kind of like a bougie style hostel for digital nomads. I really like the brand. I think they're awesome, for at least from what I remember of them. And I would just show up there and pitch myself to them, and they would say yes. And so when Robbie and I moved in together after a month or two of knowing each other, we moved into Mexico. So I left Costa Rica and I went to Mexico. And we were in Playa del Carmen, and I went to the Playa del Carmen Selena there, and I pitched myself again, because that's really what I knew mostly how to get my clients. I knew how to show people, like give people a taste of my work. They loved it, and then people would always buy the quote-unquote higher ticket packages that I thought at the time were higher ticket, even though looking back on it now, the long-term high ticket packages I charged then were less than what I charge for an hour of my time now. So it's just funny to look back on that. And so I went to the hostel and they got me on the roster for some classes and I started promoting my classes and I did some of them on this gorgeous like rooftop deck area looking over the ocean. It was amazing and I led them. And alongside of that, I said, you know what, let me also ask them if they would want to do a retreat together, because I could do an entire retreat around this whole topic for uh, business owners and entrepreneurs who want to manifest more in their life. And they were like, yeah, we'll do it. We'll, they told me like, they're going to sell the spots and, um, you know, basically I can promote it, but I'm going to come up and give them the materials they need, like what we're going to be talking about. And they're going to go out and promote it. And I learned such a valuable lesson from this experience, which is your, like people that do agency work or other business owners are never going to promote your work as good as you ever. They're never going to promote your work as good as you can actually promote the work. And the, we had like two weeks, something crazy to sell it out, maybe 21 days, three weeks to sell it out. And no one purchased. This is in January or February of 2021. And I remember saying to them, like, uh, let's just, let's, let's not do this. Cause I, I ended up, I don't like Mexico. We ended up leaving Mexico and going to Panama and we didn't run the retreat. But I remember really looking at, it. I got on calls with their ads manager and their, their marketing team that they had put me with. And I was like, this is not marketing. This is like, just slapping up like a flyer to get people there. And it's so funny. Since then, I've done, you know, that year in the, in the fall, I ended up hosting my first retreat on my own and overselling it because I sold it. And then the next year, I sold a retreat in a castle in Portugal. And then I sold an event in New York City. And then I sold a VIP weekend and then another in-person event and then another VIP weekend and now our conference coming up this year and tickets are selling like that. And I forgot about this whole situation because I've been doing a lot of reflecting recently because right now in my business, it feels like a time to begin again. It feels like a time to dream bigger than I've ever dreamed before. And it feels like I'm at this place in my business where I can really dream like to astronomical levels, dream to like, what, whoa, like, 
what do we really want to create here? And I was reflecting, looking back on some of my, my journey and the things that I've done. And I had totally forgotten about that move and manifest retreat. And it's, it's such a good reminder that no one's going to promote your work like you will. Even if you hire like an agency, they don't know your customers like you know your customers. They don't know the, the desires they have. They don't know what they're going through. And they're certainly only going to know the information that you give them. This is why a lot of times when I see people hire social media managers, their content is really bad and it lacks depth because the person doing it, they care about your business, but they don't really care about your business. And that's fine. The truth is, is that no one's going to care about your business like you will. And no one's really going to understand the, the vision like you. And so being at the forefront of your marketing is so important. And being the one that actually does the selling, that's like that's what matters. That's what's going to make you the most amount of money is you being the person that's truly trailblazing and selling out the thing you want to be selling. And I remember, I remember seeing some of the ads at the time and thinking, oh no, this is not going to sell. This is not going to work. And I ultimately decided, no, I don't want to do this. We're not going to, we're not going to host the retreat at all and just stop selling it. And that was such a turning point for me. And I think, you know, had I not experienced that, I wouldn't be where I am today hosting a conference. We have over 100 tickets sold. We're getting close to 200 tickets sold for our conference that's happening September 26th in St. Petersburg, Florida. If you haven't gotten your ticket yet, make sure you get your ticket as soon as possible. If you've been on the fence thinking about it, I would move now. I would move sooner than later so that you're not sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, this event is sold out. I wish I would have gotten a ticket. And we're not planning on doing a live stream. So make sure you get your ticket if you even remotely think that you're going to be coming. And so I just know, like, I wouldn't be hosting this conference if it wasn't for that time, if it wasn't for all the other times in between when I was, you know, just... <laughs> selling my own retreats. I'll never forget the time when I came back from an amazing retreat I did in Portugal. It was in about an hour north of Porto, Portugal, and I arrived at this gorgeous castle. And the funniest thing about that retreat is that I remember when I first started my business reading about people that hosted retreats in castles. And I was like, wow, one day I'll do that. I'll host a retreat in a castle. And then there I was, my second year in business, hosting a retreat in a castle, a massive castle, huge, like historic castle, massive. And that was like, those moments were so big for me. And that retreat actually was very difficult for me. The whole thing, we had like, issues with the Airbnb, that it was, we were kind of out in the middle of nowhere. And so getting food delivered to the house was difficult. And we made it happen though. Like I had an amazing assistant that I hired. She was actually, she lived in Portugal. She spoke Portuguese. She was so helpful. Um, it was just, yeah, that was a big challenge for me that entire, that entire week. And looking back on that, it's crazy because when I finished that retreat, I got done with it. And then I, I came back and I said, you know what, let's host another event, but let's do it in New York City and do a four hour event. And that didn't make sense. I had two, two months to sell out this next retreat. And I did, I did it anyways. And it worked and it was extraordinary. And um, many of the women that came to that retreat, I still know to this day, and that was insane. And so, I mean, I just, I look at, and I look back on so many things in my life and I go, you know, if I could tell that, that woman, that version of me back in January of 2021, when I was getting on those ad manager calls, I remember being on a little porch in my Airbnb because I, I didn't want to, Robbie, you know, I, we both worked from home, but at that time we had smaller homes. And so it was a little hard to find a quieter room away from one another where we couldn't hear each other. And I remember going out into the porch balcony and having those conversations and 
nobody signing up for it and thinking, well, I'm just going to keep going. Well, I'm just going to keep trying. Well, here we go. Well, let, like, you know, here's the next thing. And so I'm, I'm really proud. And you get to look back on your life and be really proud of everything that you've done thus far. I want you to soak in the fact that you are t- where you are today is where a, a past version of you would go, wow, wow, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you for everything that you've done. I'm so proud of you for who you've become along the way. And so I just, I I want you to decide today that you're going to write a new story. I want you to today start dreaming a little bit bigger. What's, you know, it's July of 2024. We have six months left in the year. I truly believe, and I've been talking about this a lot, there are bigger things than you can even imagine that are about to come your way. They're happening for you, but you have to believe in that and you have to be the one that writes that new story, even if people around you are choosing not to do the same. And when you do that, you will open yourself up to a world of opportunities that most people will never experience. So this is a time for you to dream bigger. You have a clean slate. What would you do? What would you do in 2024 that would be like, whoa, that just, remember when that happened and then remember when that happened and then it's December and you're looking back on this time, listening to the podcast going, you know, I remember when I listened to that in July of 2024 and look at you now. Freedom Queen, I love you and I'll see you in the next one.